Hi everyone and welcome to Poppy DIY Crafts. It is time to make another trinket dish. This time we have Pinkie Pie and she is all about baking. So I have a fun little hexagon dish mold and we're going to fill it up with some really fun confetti and macaroons. Alright, let's get started. Since resin takes some time to cure, let's start with the dish first. As a precaution, wear gloves and a respirator when working with resin. Here, I'm pouring about 40 grams of resin and mixing it really well. Then, we're going to pour the clear resin in the middle of the mold. We'll pop the bubbles with a heat gun. Here in the middle, we're going to place a clay rainbow charm. Now with the rest of the resin, I'm going to mix in some thick sprinkles in white, pink, and yellow. We're also going to add some of these white, pink, and yellow bows. And we're going to pour most of the mixture into the lip of the dish. We want most of the sprinkles on the edge and not in the middle. Alright everyone, so we are done. And so it looks really good right now. The still dish looks really good. So we have this little raised piece of clay here, which was expected. This was because the little charm that we used was quite thick. So this sticks out, but we can just trim it off or sand it off so that it'll be nice and flat. Let's go ahead and do that. Take our little exacto knife and trim off the clay edges. And I made sure not to put any resin on it so it's easier to trim. And let's take the tray out of the mold. See what it looks like from the front or the top. Take a look, how cute is this? This is super cute. Let's go ahead and paint Pinkie Pie. We're going to paint her body a pastel pink. Using white, we're going to paint the eyes. Now I'm going to paint the mane and tail a hot pink color. With a sharpie, let's line the eyes. Okay, so Pinkie Pie is all painted. Now we just need to add the eyes and the cutie mark. For this, we're going to use the water transfer decal that came with a pony. Let's cut it out first. We're going to take our decal and dip it in water until it's ready to slide off. This takes about 10 seconds. We want to keep it flat. All right, there's Pinkie Pie. Now for the cutie mark. And there's the second one. Pinkie Pie is done. All right, everyone, now we're ready to assemble our tray. So we have our little tray here. This is all ready. We have the macaroons and we have Pinkie Pie. So what I wanted to do was to stick these macaroons onto the edges here, just to decorate it a bit. And then place Pinkie Pie here, kind of just over the rainbow. And to do this, we're going to use some E6000. This is of craft glue and it's really easy to use. So we're just going to put some glue here on the bottom.
There we go, super cute. And then we're gonna take Pinkie Pie here too and also put some glue on her feet. And let's secure her on the plate. All right, everyone, and we are done with Pinkie Pie's trinket tray. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think this one is so much fun. It is so cute with all the pastel colors. So now we have done five out of six ponies. We have Rainbow Dash here in a much larger tray. We recently did Fluttershy. This one turned out really, really cute and I loved doing it. Of course, we have Rarity. She is on a little pedestal. This is more like a ring dish because of all these little points here. And then we have our first one, we have Twilight Sparkle. She is looking a little bit plain. I'm kind of thinking I need to redo her. I need to get a new figure and then make maybe a tray or something for her so that she doesn't feel so plain. And of course we now have Pinkie Pie. And last of all, we have Applejack. So I've held off on Applejack for a while. I've been looking for supplies that matches kind of her theme. I was kind of hoping for a barn or an apple theme, but I haven't found anything that, uh, that would work really well. So uh, hopefully I'll find something in the next few days or the next week or so, and then we can complete Applejack and give her a little trinket trait too. Alright everyone, so if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!